Hey Marvel fans, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Naaman. This is The Nerdy Lair. And marketing for Multiverse of Madness has been ramping up. We have a lot of new posters that look amazing. I mean, some of the best posters I've ever seen in my life. But we also have some new TV spots and teaser trailers that I think have some very interesting things in them that I want to break down because I think they will be major plot points for the film. So the first thing I want to talk about is something we've seen very little of between the TV spots, teaser trailers, and even the official trailer. And that is what many of us think is going to be the Book of Ashanti. Now in the comics, the Book of Ashanti is a book that contains the most powerful white magic spells. And it's just really a counter to the dark hope. And it seems like that's basically what the MCU is going to be doing. I mean, in a recent teaser trailer slash TV spot, we saw one of the Doctor Strange variants with America Chavez fighting the ribbon monster. And the spell he was using was changed in this one from other trailers and TV spots from orange to white. Now, not only does this look amazing, and I think could lead to a battle between Wanda and Doctor Strange with like her red magic and his white magic that I think will look really cool. But I think it basically confirms that the Book of Ashanti, no matter what, is going to be a very important piece of this movie and it's probably going to be the way that they defeat Wanda in general. And this kind of ties into the next thing I want to talk about, which is I don't know if Wanda is going to be the main, main villain of this movie. Now, I definitely think Wanda is going to be doing some evil things in this movie, and it's going to be of her own volition, kind of. Like, I think she's going to be semi-controlled or, at the very least, heavily influenced by the Dark Hold. And I think somebody behind the scenes could be controlling the Dark Hold, and in a future project, or maybe even in Doctor Strange, could reveal themselves and be an even bigger threat. Somebody like Mephisto, somebody like Nightmare, or somebody like Cthone. Now I say these three guys because either they've been rumored or they just have very deep comic book connections. Now I think the person who makes the most sense would be Cthone because hey, that's who made the Dark Code. But Marvel could change that to make it Mephisto who makes the Dark Code because he does use it as well in the comic. Or even Nightmare because he's kind of like Mephisto just in a different way. They could combine these guys to make them all the same character. Who knows? But I don't think that at the end of this movie, Wanda will be seen as this evil, terrible person. I think she will be seen as somebody who is going through a lot and in a time of need went to the Dark Code and she paid the prices of going to the Dark Code and using dark magic. I do think she's going to be going very dark, very Darth Vader. I also think at the end of this movie, they will set her on a path of redemption because she also has rumored project coming out. And it seems like from leaks and rumors that Wanda won't be dying at the end of Multiverse of Madness. So we could possibly be seeing the Decimation storyline, but the MCU version later after Multiverse of Madness. And I'm all here for it. I love Scarlet Witch. I love Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. And I can't wait to see more of her in the MCU. Now, with all that said, I do still think that Wanda will be going very dark in this film. She will be killing people. And the people she mainly will be killing is this Multiversal Avengers slash Illuminati team that we've been hearing so much about in leaks and rumors and recently there's been a crazy leak from Daniel Rickman giving his list from what he's heard from his sources about who will be in this Illuminati lineup. Now starting off we have Professor X. I mean we've seen him in trailers. Patrick Stewart has confirmed in interviews. He's basically fully confirmed. He's probably the safest bet as cameos go. Now the next member is Captain Carter. She's been leaked heavily for a long time now and it would make sense bringing the one from What If into live action. And we also have Captain Marvel Lashana Lynch. I mean we've seen her in the trailers fighting Wanda. It also makes a lot of sense that she would get the powers of Captain Marvel and become Captain Marvel in a different universe. And lastly we have Mordo. We've seen him fighting Doctor Strange in the trailers while Doctor Strange has those Iron Legion armbands on him. So he's obviously in that facility and it would make sense for him to be an Illuminati member. Next member really shocked me, and that's Anson Mount Blackboat. And it seems like he's going to be in the movie. I think he might be cut or replaced with somebody else, like a Tom Cruise Iron Man. But as it stands right now, it seems like it's a safe bet to say that he is a part of the Illuminati. And I just think it's wild. I didn't think Kevin Feige would use anybody from the ABC show or anything to do with the ABC show ever again. And I just didn't think he really particularly cared for the Inhumans. But it seems like we're going to be getting us a black boat. And I'm kind of excited. Now our last member will be a John Krasinski, Mr. Fantastic variant that we've been hearing a lot about in leaks and rumors for a very long time originally a lot of people wanted him to be the mcu mr fantastic but it seems like in this movie he'll be a variant mr fantastic and it just makes sense seeing as he probably doesn't want to do a 10-year mcu deal and i'm just really excited to see mr fantastic especially john krasinski i love him as an actor and i think he'll be one of the best cameos by far now i don't know if this lineup is going to be the one we'll see in the movie but i do know that everybody in this lineup has been rumored at one point or another and 
this leak is coming from a pretty reliable source in Daniel Rickman. So it seems pretty concrete, pretty accurate. But I also wouldn't be surprised if we got a totally different version in the film. Like maybe with a Tom Cruise Iron Man or something that hasn't even been leaked yet, like a Hulk or a Namor variant. And we also know that we're going to be getting helpers in the film. So we could be getting some Fox X-Men, some Spider-Man variants, some Avenger variants, some crazy like that. I don't know. But when I hear John Campia saying things like, this movie could be bigger than Endgame, Infinity War, and No Way Home combined, and he has the sources he has, I get the feeling that Feige has something really crazy in store for us, and I'm so ready to see this film. I think it's going to be one of the best Marvel films ever made, and I just can't wait. If you agree or disagree, leave your opinions down below. Peace out.